so friends first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this lesson number one on the topic syllogism we are going to solve a five different question that is basic question in the topic syllogism and all the question that we are going to solve in this lesson number one where the conclusion that is based on some and all so friends if you are a beginner first of all be strong on the basics learn lesson number one and practice more number of questions in lesson number one then go to lesson number two lesson number three lesson number four so that you will be strong on the topic syllogism so friends before solving all the question first of all you should know the venn diagram for this three important statement so here the statement number one is some a or b so friends if you find a statement like some a or b you should draw a venn diagram like this so this circle is for a and this circle is for b so we can surely say that some a or b will be this region and the second statement is all a or b so all a or b should be drawn like this so all a or b and the third statement is no a is b so friends the meaning of no a is b there is no connection between a and b so we can draw the venn diagram for a and also here it is for b right so there is no connection between a and b and this line indicates that there is no connection between a and b so these three diagrams are most important if you need to solve a topic syllogism so if it is some a or b draw a diagram like this all a or b and no a is b and some students won't draw this line it is your wish right if you draw a line like this if you see in any question they have drawn a line like this this indicates that there is no connection between a and b so friends listen carefully in this every question the topic syllogism you can find a statement and a conclusion by using the statement you need to draw the venn diagram and after drawing the venn diagram and you need to say whether the conclusion is true or false by using the venn diagram so let me move on to all the five interesting but basic question in the topic syllogism let me move on to question number one so friends first of all we need to draw a venn diagram for the given statement and we need to check the conclusion by using the venn diagram so let me move on to statement number one so statement number one is some tree or paper so let me draw the diagram so some tree or paper and the second statement is all papers are ink so all papers are ink and the third statement is some ink or blue so some ink or blue so friends finally we have drawn the venn diagram for the given statement right so let me move on to the conclusion so conclusion number one some ink or tree so friends by using this venn diagram we need to check whether some ink or tree the conclusion is true or false so friends listen carefully we know that this is ink and this venn diagram that is this circle is for tree and the conclusion is some ink or tree so definitely this region we have some inks or tree so friends listen carefully in this region we have connected tree with ink and in this region we have connected tree with the paper so we can surely say that this region some ink or tree is correct so conclusion number one follows so we can say the conclusion number one is true so conclusion number two some paper or tree so friends listen here friends some paper or tree will be definitely this region because we already know that tree is connected with paper in this region tree is connected with ink in this region and conclusion number two is some papers or tree so some paper or tree will be this region so conclusion number two is true so to conclusion number three so some blue or paper so friends we need to check whether some blue or paper is true or false listen here we know that blue is here and paper is here there is no link between blue and paper but the conclusion says some blue or paper so some blue or paper which is false because here it is paper and here it is blue there is no connection between paper and blue but the conclusion says some blue or paper so which is false so we can say that conclusion number three is false conclusion number four some blue or ink so friends listen here friends this is blue and this circle is ink so we can definitely say that this region where blue is connected with ink and the conclusion says some blue or ink so this region some blue or ink is definitely correct so we can say that conclusion number four is true so finally for question number one the answer is one two and four follows so three does not follows so friends let me move on to the various diagram so that you can able to understand this concept clearly question number two so friends we need to draw the venn diagram by using the statement and we need to check the conclusion by using the venn diagram right so let me move on to statement number one so the statement number one is some cars are truck 
so some car or truck and the second statement is some trucks or cycle so some truck or cycle and the third statement is all cycles are tractor so all cycles are tractor and the fourth will be all tractors are bike so all tractors are bike and the last statement is some bike or white so some bike we know that it's bike right some bike or white so friends finally we have drawn the venn diagram for the given statement and we need to check the conclusions now okay so let me move on to conclusion number one some cycle or white so friends by using this diagram we need to say whether the conclusion is true or false so conclusion number one is some cycle or white so friends listen here here it is white and here it is cycle there is no link between cycle and white but they are saying that some cycle or white so we can definitely say that conclusion number one is false why because there is no link between cycle and white but the conclusion says some cycles are white so which is exactly wrong so finally we can say that conclusion number one is false conclusion number two some bike or truck so friends some bike or truck right so friends listen carefully this region we can surely say that truck is connected with cycle and truck is connected with the tractor and truck is connected with the bike and the conclusion number two says some bike or truck so some bike or truck definitely this region so we can say that conclusion number two is true so friends listen carefully truck is connected with cycle in this region truck is connected with tractor in this region and also truck is connected and bike with this region so finally we can say that in this region truck is connected with cycle tractor and bike and the conclusion number two says some bike is truck so some bike is truck will be definitely this region is true conclusion number three some cycles are car some cycles are car so friends listen carefully here it is cycle we need to concentrate only on the circle right so here it is cycle and here it is car there is no connection between cycle and car but they are saying that some cycle are car so which is exactly wrong so conclusion number three is false so friends you need to concentrate only on the circle right so this circle is for cycle and this circle is for car and the conclusion says some cycle are car so some cycle are car which is definitely false why because there is no link between cycle and car so finally we can say that conclusion number three is false conclusion number four some white or cycle so some white or cycle so friends i think this conclusion is false because in conclusion number one we have already seen that some cycles are white right so some cycle are white which is exactly wrong and conclusion number four is some white or cycle we know that there is no connection between white and cycle so definitely conclusion number four does not follows so conclusion number five some bike or cycle so here it is bike and here it is cycle so some bike or cycle which is exactly correct so finally we can say that conclusion number five follows so friends listen here it is one of the most important concept all cycles are tractor is correct all cycles are bike is correct and also all tractors are bike is correct and some bikes or tractor is correct some bikes or cycle is correct so friends important concept always remember that you need to know how to check all and also some right so all cycles are tractor is true all cycles are bike is true and all tractors are bike is true some bikes or tractor is true some bikes or cycle is true and some tractor or cycle is true right let we move on to conclusion number six that is last conclusion so all cycles are bike so friends listen here just now i have told you all cycles are bike which is exactly correct so we can say that conclusion number six follows so finally for question number two second conclusion follows fifth conclusion follows and sixth conclusion follows so friends in this diagram you should learn only one important concept that is all cycles are tractor is correct all cycles are bike is correct and all tractors are bike is correct and if we move on to some conclusion some tractors are cycle is correct some bikes or cycle is correct and some bikes or tractor is correct if they say all bikes are cycle which is wrong so friends listen carefully all cycle or bike is correct that is true and all bike or cycle which is false so friends let me move on to question number three question number three and here the statements are all fruits are apple so statement number one is all fruits are apple okay and the second statement is all apples are bananas so all apples are banana and the third statement is some bananas are orange and the fourth will be some orange are grapes so some bananas are orange 
and the last statement is some orange are grapes so finally we have drawn the venn diagram for the given statement right so let me move on to conclusion number one some orange or apple so friends we need to say whether it is true or false by using the diagram some orange or apple so friends i think conclusion number one is exactly false why because this circle indicates an orange and this circle for apple and the conclusion says some orange or apple by using the venn diagram there is no connection between orange and apple but the conclusion says some orange or apple so we can say that conclusion number one is false so friends don't think a lot just concentrate only on the circle so this circle is for orange and this circle is for apple and there is no connection between orange and apple so finally we can say the conclusion number one is false so conclusion number two some grapes or fruit so some grapes or fruit similarly here it is grapes and here it is fruit right so there is no connection between grape and fruit but the conclusion is some grapes or fruit which is exactly wrong so we can say that conclusion number two does not follows conclusion number three some bananas or fruit so some bananas are fruit which is exactly correct i think in the previous question itself i have told you how to see some and all for this case right so conclusion number three is some bananas are fruit so some bananas are fruit which is exactly correct so conclusion number three follows so friends listen here some bananas are fruit is true some bananas are apple is true and all fruits are apple is true and all fruits are banana is true so listen carefully for a single diagram you should know how to see some and all right just most important so the last conclusion is some grapes are banana some grapes are banana i think here it is grape and here it is banana right so there is no link between grape and banana but the conclusion says some grapes are banana so it is wrong so finally for this question we have got an answer that is conclusion three alone follows so friends one of the most important concept right so listen the concept carefully all fruit are banana which is correct all fruit are apple that is also true and all apple are banana that is also true similarly some banana are fruit which is true and some banana are apple is true and also some apple are fruit is true if the conclusion is all bananas are fruit example i'm saying if the conclusion is all banana are fruit which is exactly wrong why because some banana is fruit is correct but all banana is fruit is wrong question number four and here the statements are some sun or moon right so some sun or moon okay and the second statement is all moons are star so all moons are star so friends listen carefully the third statement is based on no right i think we have already seen how to draw the diagram for no right so no star is morning so no star is morning so we can draw morning here so friends the meaning of no is there is no link between star and morning so i can draw like this so remember that this line indicates no star is morning that means there should not be any link between star and morning and the last statement is some mornings are night so some mornings are night so friends finally we have drawn the venn diagram for the given statement so in the previous three question we have uh, seen only on the statement that is some and all but in this statement we are seeing no which is most important so some sun is moon and all moons are star and no star is morning so this line indicates that there should not be any connection between star and morning and some mornings are night so finally we have drawn the venn diagram so let me move on to the conclusions so friends conclusion number one some star or sun some star or sun yeah which which is exactly right why because we know that sun is connected moon in this region and some is connected with star in this region and this region we can surely say that sun is connected with moon and sun is connected with star and the conclusion says some star or sun so some star or sun in this region which is exactly correct so conclusion number two some morning or moon so friends conclusion number two is some morning or moon right so friends listen carefully here it is morning and here it is moon we can surely say that there is no connection between morning and moon but the conclusion says some morning or moon so we can say that conclusion number two is false so friends concentrate only on the circle right so this circle is for morning and this circle is for moon and there is no link between morning and moon but the conclusion says some morning or moon so we can say that so conclusion number two is false 
Conclusion number 3. Sun, night or sun. So friends, we can surely say that this circle is for sun and this circle is for night. There is no connection between sun and night. And the conclusion says sun, night or sun. So we can definitely say that conclusion 3 is false. Conclusion number 4. All stars are moon. So all stars are moon which is exactly wrong. Why? Because some stars are moon is correct. But the conclusion says all stars are moon. So we can say that conclusion number 4 does not follow. So friends listen carefully. All moon are star is correct. But all stars are moon is not correct. Some stars are moon is correct. right? And the fourth conclusion is all stars are moon. So all stars are moon is not correct. So finally we can say that conclusion number 4 does not follow. So finally for this question conclusion 1 alone follows. The last fifth question. So the statement is all chairs are table. So all chairs are table. Okay. And the second statement is no table is a sofa. So friends it's based on no statement. So the meaning of no table is sofa means there is no connection between table and sofa. So let me draw sofa here. So this line indicates that there is no connection between table and sofa. Okay. The next statement is some sofa are wood. So some sofa are wood. And the last statement is no wood is brown. So friends again no wood is brown. So there is no connection between wood and brown right. So we can surely say that there is no connection between wood and brown. So friends listen carefully this both the line indicates that there is no connection between wood and brown and this line indicates that there is no connection between table and sofa. So finally we have drawn the Venn diagram for the given statement. So let me move on to the conclusions. So conclusion number one, some tables are chair. So friends, some tables are chair, which is correct, right? Why? Because here it is table and here it is chair. I think we have already seen some tables are chair, which is exactly correct. So we can say that conclusion number one is true. Conclusion number two, some wood or sofa. So some wood or sofa, this region, we can surely say that sofa is connected with wood. And the conclusion is some wood or sofa. So this region, we can surely say that conclusion number two is true. Conclusion number three, some brown or chair. So friends, some brown or chair. By seeing this Venn diagram, we can surely say that there is no link between chair and brown. And the conclusion says some brown or chair, which is wrong. So we can say that conclusion number three is false. Conclusion number four, some brown or sofa. So some brown or sofa. Similarly, by seeing this diagram, there is no link between brown and sofa. And the conclusion is some brown or sofa. So we can say that conclusion number four is false. Last conclusion, all sofa are wood. So friends, listen here. The conclusion number five says all sofa are wood. We know that some sofa are wood, but the conclusion says all sofa are wood, which is exactly wrong. So friends, listen here. Some sofa are wood is correct and some wood or sofa is correct, but all woods are sofa is wrong. Similarly, all sofa are wood is wrong. So the conclusion number five is all sofa are wood, which is exactly false. So finally, for this question, only one and two follows. So friends, finally we have seen 5 interesting questions that is just we have seen only the basics on the topic syllogism. So friends, after watching all the 5 questions, so go and take your books and practice more number of easiest questions. Don't go for toughest conclusion like no possibility, some not, definitely not. Kindly, if you are a beginner, learn step by step process. Right. So first of all, concentrate only on the conclusion that is based on some and all. So after being strong on the basics, go for the remaining lessons so that after watching all the videos, you can be strong on the topic syllogism. If you learn something from this video, so kindly share this video to your friends so that your friends can also learn the syllogism topic.